I wanted to ask you about the interview you recently did with Extra. I saw you were talking about the current budget that's been proposed by the Trump administration. Could you talk about what the implications of uh, defunding the National Endowment of the Arts? What is a society without art? What is a society without music and poetry? I mean, I can't quote what, exactly what Winston Churchill said, but that he said, like, without it, what are we living for? <laughs> Um, so, of course, to me, the arts are very important. Um, and I know also you're getting that award from Variety magazine, and Chelsea Clinton's getting the award as well. Some are talking about her running for office. Do you think she should run for office, Chelsea Clinton? Senate or House? I think she should do whatever she wants to do. Um, I think she's a very intelligent, capable young woman, and if she wants to run for office, I'm very happy. I, I think more women that run for office, the better society will be. I encourage all women watching this, listening, to please run for office because we need you. And you've probably seen some of the stories about Ivanka Trump. She's getting a West Wing office. She's getting a top security clearance in the White House. Do you think that's a good idea to have Ivanka in the White House? Do you like to see her? You know, I don't know her qualifications, so I'm not a good one to ask about that. Jessica Chastain's comments were made before the Washington screening of her new film, The Zookeeper's Wife, which opens in theaters on March 31st. Some here on the red carpet were talking about the migration crisis, the immigration debate here, and how the film relates to that okay. issue. Is there a message you want people to take away, like, a, I don't know, a course of action you would like yeah. to see people? The film actually kind of relates to two questions that you've asked me, because it also relates to arts. And to Nina, um, not only did she save the lives of 100 people in World War II, she created a sanctuary. And she bolstered spirits and fostered hope, and she created a space of music and art and love. And um, those that were in deep suffering um, found healing through that. So that addresses the first question about how important arts are. And then the second one, Antonina herself was a refugee. She fled um, violence in Russia. She was born in St. Petersburg, found herself in Warsaw as a young woman. And that's where she found her place of love and her own sanctuary. And I, perhaps because she had that understanding of what it was like to run and to be afraid and to be alone. She, um, it was important for her to protect others uh, that were scared and fleeing violence. So, you know, I, we've learned now that Anne Frank's family were denied visas twice um, to come into the United States. We all learn, we read the book, Diary of Anne Frank. It's required reading. I read it when I was 12 years old. I loved it. It was so important to my education, but I feel a little bit of a betrayal that my teacher didn't tell us in that lesson that the United States didn't let her in. And um, I think that by ignoring that part of history, we're um, washing our hands of it. And we can't claim a book as uh, education without saying how we're res partly responsible for her death. In Washington, I'm Nicholas Palissy.